Welcome to The Morning Report, a production of fightbackmedia.com, the number one source of urban conservative information in America. But we can get out there, reach out, make the case. And for one thing, don't ever, don't ever shy away from our progressive values. One person's socialism is another person's neighborliness. Well, good morning. My name is Willie Lawson. This is The Morning Report. The Morning Report is for fightbackmedia.com, 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 and fightbackmediatv.com. Um... Today, you know, the more that this this Tim Vaults dude is rolled out, and 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 the more the the left and Democrat Party is trying to put lipsticks on this pig, the more that we have to be honest and open and let people know because a lot of, a lot of people around the country don't know unless you're you know in a state you don't know who the governor is. I mean, you don't know who this guy is, so we have to let people know who the heck these people are. We just have to let them know who they are. Um, and I think it's important that we here at the Morning Report let America know, all our people who are watching, uh, who this dude is. Because the left will continue, and I've said this before, they're really good about pushing a narrative, even if it's false, but they'll push it to the very, very edge, to the end, until either people buy into it or it becomes obvious that the narrative is false and they're gaslighting and then they switch it up. But we're not going to do that here. We're going to just present you the realities of what's going on. Uh, So Democrat presidential presidential nominee Kamala Harris has chosen the far left uh, Minnesota governor, Tim Walz, as a a VP pick. Now, it it is comical, awful, terrible, scary that uh, you see uh, Nancy Pelosi trying to say, Tim Waltz? I mean, Waltz on the left? No, he's right down the middle. (laughs) Now, stubbing the popular Pennsylvania governor, Josh Shapiro, who is probably pretty close to a moderate Jewish Democrat whose support of Israel in the war against Hamas has ticked off the anti-Semitic wing of, of Kamala's party. Now, what we know is that there is a portion of the left that is the free Palestine portion that is not happy with the Democrat Party right now, not happy, and and, and they're probably going to show up um, at the Democratic convention. The Democrat convention, I'm sorry, um, because that's where the the genocide Joe crap came from and all that stuff. So Shapiro, being Jewish, at the behest of the Democrat establishment, was officially dumped in favor of a Bernie Sanders aligned leftist. Let's talk about let's talk about Waltz. Um, I we believe that in making the 2024 Democrat ticket um, it's the most extreme ever assembled in U.S. history. Check this out: pediatric med- medical mutilation. Waltz, who called Republicans weird people, supports medically mutilating children. In April of 2023, Walt signed a law that turned Minnesota into a transgender sanctuary state. House File 146 prevents court, state courts or officials from complying with child removal requests, extraditions, arrests, or subpoenas related to gender-affirming health care that a person receives in Minnesota. So if somebody, so, so if your kid slips across the border and has their breast cut off, and you are like, I need to get my kid because she's scheduled to have her breast removed because she does. She thinks she's a boy. Nobody in Minnesota can help you. Nobody in Minnesota will arrest her. Nobody in Minnesota will, will, will extradite her out. Nobody in Minnesota will help you at all. This gives state courts the power to literally take kids away if parents don't sign off on this so-called gender-affirming surgical procedures allowing the state to have temporary emergency jurisdiction over the child. They take your kid from you. Remember Joy Reid? We have to we have to get out of this idea that children belong to their parents. They belong to the collective. That they tell you right to your face. Tell you right to your face. And you're like, Taylor Swift. The damn break. Anyway, uh, if a child runs away to another state to seek these services, Minnesota will not return the child will not return your kid to you. Waltz, 
who was the choice of the Democratic Socialist Bernie Sanders. Let me help you. There isn't any 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 difference. There's no there's no distinction between Democratic Socialists and Socialists. There's no distinction. Socialist is socialist. And you know, and things that we say, if you look at Venezuela, look at Venezuela. Yeah, socialists, you get to vote for them once. Once. Um, so he was the choice of Bernie Sanders. See, he, this dude, Walt, sees socialism as a, as akin to neighborly, neighborliness, being a good neighbor. Are you a good neighbor? Now, some of us who can actually read know that socialist regimes and communist regimes have killed millions of people. Millions of people. It, nothing neighborly about the murder, the mass murder attached to every single socialist regime that's ever existed on the planet, including the Nazis. Oh, Nazi stands for National Socialist Party, by the way. So he says, do not ever shy away from our progressive values. He tells you right up front that he's on the left. There's no centrist or moderate progressive values. Progressive values are on the left. One person's socialism is another person's neighborliness. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to they're trying to soften social socialism, trying to soften the word change it into something else. They can't, because we're not going to let them. They can't change the words because we're not going to let them. Not all. I'm old enough to remember just a few years ago, um, COVID-19. Walt was a COVID-19 militant. As governor, he issued a, mo a memorandum mandating indoor masking and set up a hotline. Now, a lot of people did the indoor masking, but he set up a hotline to report residents who violated COVID-19 mandates. So he had a snitch line for people who didn't go along. And when he got asked to take it down, he said, ah, screw you, I'm not going to do it. So as of April of, of 2020, the state received approximately five hundred reports of suspected violations of the Walt stay-at-home executive order. The, the number one report was businesses that remained open when they should, ha should have been closed. Bars, restaurants that violated Walt's guidelines order ordering their closure face criminal and civil penalties for continuing on-site sale operations. So unless you had a way to deal online unless you have a lot of mm, a lot of scratch you were to close your business and we know that a lot of a lot of these businesses were not the Chili's or the Applebee's or the large corporations um, they were mom and pop businesses that that's how they got their money that that's how they lived that's exactly how they lived and without being open to the public these people are going to go bankrupt these people were going to lose their homes, they were going to lose their business, they were going to be destroyed. And they weren't forcing people to come into their business. They weren't out there, you know, with a, you know, with a bullwhip and cattle prod forcing people into these businesses. People were coming to these businesses by their own volition. Because they knew that these people had to be supported somehow. Walls didn't care. So when he says, when they tell you that, that that this dude is for the common dude, they are full of crap. They're absolutely, positively, without a doubt, full of crap. So and and the businesses that refuse to cooperate were reported to the Minnesota Department of Public Safety's Alcohol Gambling Enforcement Division, and law enforcement cops were dispatched to investigate complaints. Wow. This one, 
And this one especially, especially blows me away. Because it was last year. Waltz was expected to sign a wide-ranging package that repeals Minnesota's protection. Minnesota had protection of babies born after a botched abortion. Something to protect that young life after the doctors tried to kill them. You know, soft language like abortion, we need to eliminate. So doctors tried to kill the child, murder the baby. Minnesota had protections in to protect that child. Waltz was expected to sign a bill to remove that protection. So the baby lives through its murder, and its murder attempt. He legalized infanticide. You just, you know, if somehow you miss on the inside, we got to get you on the outside, you little booger. This is not a person who is moderate, down the road, folksy. This is a dangerous, awful, terrible piece of horse crap that must be stopped. We can't allow the left to paint this picture of this dude that he is not. And they seem to be in that mode right now. They seem to be in the mode where they are painting people as something that they are not. Kamala Harris is African-American who, who, who's really good at cooking collard greens. And I'm sure she's got some hot sauce in her purse. And somehow came up with that awful, fakey, terrible, embarrassing, insulting Southern accent when she went to Atlanta. Seriously? I told you guys when Obama got elected, when President Obama was elected, and I believe that he was elected. I do. Um, I can't say the same thing about the current president, but I will say that 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 I believe that he got elected. I told you then that everything you see from now on will be for public consumption. Everything you see. Nothing you will see will actually be real. It won't be. Because, again, President Obama said it. We are in a post-truth. We are in a post-truth society. Truth doesn't matter. What people feel, what people sense, what people are told, that's what matters. It matters a lot more than the truth. So when I simply say Kamala Harris is not African American, not like me, not like me, that invokes George Stephanopoulos to lose his mind. Why? Because they want to redefine what black is, and they started this crap. And I'm going to do another video on this. They started this crap when they stopped saying black. And they started saying people of color. So it could be more inclusive and dilute African American. People who are born here. People who look like me who are born here. The 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 BIPOC started to dilute African Americans. And the saddest part is that a lot of black people just went along with it. Just go along with it you still think they have your back I'm going to tell you nobody's got your back I'm going to say it like that nobody's got your back anyway this bill that Waltz was expected to sign even changed the definition of abortion by, by, place, by replacing the term pregnant woman with individual why is that? Because they're really good about changing the definition of things. Because if you can change the definition of things, you can make them mean whatever the hell you want them to mean. Tim Waltz is false. He is not the person that they are portraying him to be. 
He is not. Any more so than Kamala Harris is the person that they're portraying her to be. They're not. And we're just going to keep saying it. And, and, and now it's funny. Now I'm getting comments uh, that are that are finally and, and finally and I'm, and I'm grateful for them that are finally opposing what we're saying here. And that's fine. I'll leave them up. I don't delete them. It's fine. We'll face it head on because I know what we're saying is true. Now, people can be mad about it all they want. They can complain about it all they want. They can write comments in the comment sections all they want. It doesn't matter to me. It's fine because they, what they know is what I'm saying is true, too. My name is Willie Lawson. This has been the Morning Report. The Morning Report is a production of FightBackMedia.com, 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 and FightBackMediaTV.com. Till we see you again, go out there and learn something to love somebody. And for goodness sakes, I'll take care of yourself. We will see you when we see you. Bye-bye now. But we can get out there. Reach out. Make the case. And for one thing, don't ever, don't ever shy away from our progressive values. One person's socialism is another person's neighborliness.